Hi everyone, we're doing a quick, um, I guess, unveiling, I can't really call it unboxing, of this um, new guitar I purchased, uh, which is the Winter 70s um, Deluxe Telecaster. Um, there's a good deal going on with Guitar Guitar on these, um, since they came out with the Winter 2 line and Fender in all of 2023. Post this the COVID boom has been trying to get rid of all their, I guess, surplus stock, which is what every other retailer, guitar retailer is doing, which is why there's been a lot of new guitars, used guitars flooding the market on excellent deals. And sometimes you'll find that the new guitar prices for retailers are actually better than this, the same model used guitar, which is ironic. And why would you? um not get the new guitar in the first place um beats me but that's uh that's where we are and um these i think will most likely be discontinued because they've come out with the winter 2 range which is kind of a refresh version of this and they've significantly shrunk the line now from what used to be quite an extensive winter one line which came out around I'd like to think 2018 or 2019 or maybe even earlier than that um where they had kind of like a 50s then a 50s modified um 60s 60s modified etc and then all the way to 70s and in strat tellies jazz masters and everything and they've kind of shrunk the line to limited versions um the 72 for some reason deluxe now does not have the original three bolt um which is bizarre, and I didn't want that. I wanted kind of like a a vintage finish, um, period correct as possible, with all the glorious um, or unglorious uh, over dot over the top um, Fender branding. So um, I bought this from Guitar Guitar. It obviously, came in a big box and then a smaller Fender box, but there isn't much packaging inside the Fender box other than this case, which is what comes with the guitar. Um, these are the standard Fender cases, nice soft share case with um, a strap, um, and they're really good. I've used them to transport guitars, um, and a lot of the, even the signature series out of Mexico, um, come with this. So, without further ado, let me just unzip this thing and take this out. Yeah, I don't expect much other than the usual kind of paper packaging in here, uh, but let's see what it comes with. Get that case, case out of the way. Okay, it comes with the usual Allen key. Um, if you get a nitro cellular version of this, I don't think they do this anymore, but those ones came with a, um, a kind of a how to take care of your nitro guitar guide, whereas this one is just obviously poly, transparent poly. Um, I didn't want a nitro one for this. I have two other nitro guitars, which I love, but um but yeah if you wanted the road worn version they do that as well uh obviously it's road worn i want to look like a new instrument um what's that and uh, let's take a look at i mean normally these are I've got a whole bunch of rubber bands and stuff on it but i'm assuming they took this out to give it a one solar before shipping it to me which would explain why there is no rubber band on it or maybe because it's inside a case it doesn't need a rubber band who knows? All right, and I'm just gonna plunk that down. I love the love the finish on this actually. It's really nice. Um, I mean, it does look like an old instrument. It obviously, comes with this visual tags, and I hate how they put these through. Uh, anyway, white made. Sometimes they'll be caught on the tuner and it's an absolute nightmare to get this one out. And well, you watch me struggle to do the same with this one. Of course, this is a very professionally done YouTube video. <laughs> uh, and the same with this as well. Kind of like inspection card or something. Obviously it comes with the serial number. Okay, made in Mexico thing. I'm just gonna rip that off because I'm not gonna keep it. Uh, and it's beginning to annoy me. Um, and then just take this off here. 
this is the usual kind of fender play um but like that they've been doing for a while i'm not sure i mean it is a really good resource but i'm not sure how many people have actually signed up for it otherwise they wouldn't they wouldn't even happen to see that um each time you purchase one this is the usual kind of made in mexico um or even the u.s ones have this kind of nice inspection card that tells you who's this prop assembled it um used to have names on it but i clearly they've stopped doing that because then maybe people will go look for the people that have made your guitar in mexico um right spec wise um let me just quick kind of look over this it's really nice sorry about the light glaring yeah there you go i can see that actually a little bit better maybe it has quite nice grain to it which makes me think um I mean, it's a white grain and alder, if you know alder, generally looks like cardboard. Um, it does say for some of the old tin lines that they used to do that the transparent finishes or translucent finishes like this one, which is a vintage blonde finish, um, are made out of ash. So I wonder if this is ash. Um, it does look like ash, but the specs say alder. So we will assume this is an alder body. It is quite a hefty piece of wood um not light by any means um uh, but not less ball heavy either so um that's been my only kind of gripe with fender guitars lately they're heavier and heavier so i don't know what they're doing with their wood um that's what the back looks like it's a um, string through with the non-recessed ferules um it's got a nice um uh, tummy cut which i appreciate um fairly kind of otherwise squared off telly body um no forearm contour because that's not vintage correct um on the other side has the usual telly jack plate um and then just finishing up on the back has a three bolt um 70s style neck plate with fender crazy branding yeah, the cursive f uh, or reverse f or whatever you want to want to call it um i quite like these things um kind of get a kind of a vintage you know i guess um car feel to to them which is what was an inspiration for a lot of these old guitars in the 70s and the and the 50s even the colors were all i guess um car colors as well um comes with the um, a micro tilt adjustment i've never had these on any of my guitars before so this should be interesting the maple neck um with the skunk stripe and then uh these kind of 70s style fender tuners again fender went nuts with the branding during the cbs era um so everything had an f or you know a big logo and that was the reason for the large headstock as well they wanted to put a big logo on there um it is a Kind of a gloss finish but it's it's still satin it doesn't really stick like a painted neck that you would find on a gibson or uh or one of the cheaper kind of um or even the esps even the high-end esps have that kind of like uh gloss finished um set neck or bolt-on guitars which i do not a big fan of on the front again Nice big CBS style headstock with two string trees and this uh, what's called the bullet truss rod, which was a kind of a 70s feature. Made it easier to adjust your your truss rod for neck relief and also prevent you from getting a Allen key in there and scratching it out like the new ones do. I much prefer these because it's nice and out of the way, easily accessible, and I kind of like the look of them as well. Big 70s style headstock and this is primarily for fender to put a larger logo on and and scream you know the cbs kind of fender air off you know trying to obviously put as much branding as they could on the guitar for sales uh, much good that did because quality fenders significantly deteriorated during the cbs era um some nice pieces um this is a nice piece of maple and let me just check quickly here it's a one-piece neck with you can see the kind of quarter sound grain around here um which is why there is a skunk stripe at the back so that is explain that 
Then up here, we got a three-way toggle switch. Um, neck, middle, bridge. Again, um, these Winterra specific um, um, wide range pickups, which they revamped when they introduced the first Winterra line. And they're supposed to be more accurate to the kind of winter, winter, uh, um, you know, spec that for each, um, each year. And they're supposed to be more vintage, correct? They're not the, they're not the QNFA ones that Tim Shaw and the team kind of just relaunched or, or finally re advertised rather because they've been in the making for a while. Um, so they're not the QNFA, but these are supposed to get you close to that kind of wide range sound and from reviews online I've heard that these are better than the the Vmod pickups that come on the performance series as well as the the American standard too so they sound better apparently um well I haven't plugged this in to tell tell you that's the case but or have a Vmod pickup to com compare to but as long as it does does the thing um this is my first guitar with wide range pickups so that should be interesting anyway different sound um, six saddle bridge again, fender stamped, you know, bent steel saddles, hardtail, no tram. And quite simplistically, if you think about what they were doing during the CBS era, we're simplifying the layout, right, for production. Um, if you think about where all the wiring and controls lie, they're all on this singular. Um, big guard so you could wire that separately get the body ready and then just assemble it quite easily and Leo was always about ease of assembly and then I guess during the CBS era they continued to do that um, and around that kind of modular ethos of Fender guitars which is what we love because if you don't like something about it you can always swap it out and their parts are readily available from both Fender and other kind of niche you know manufacturers that can do fancy woods etc like Warmoth and you know and music craft and yeah guitar metal whatever you know whichever one you fancy using uh, based on which country you're in um so that's the guitar I'm I really like it I mean it's so nicely done um this is my second Winterra guitar the first one I had was the 50s um modified telly that plays beautifully I still have it I haven't sold it I'm still in love with it. Um, yeah, this is cool. Um, yeah, that was just a quick kind of first, you know, first impressions review of this. If you're looking to buy one, um, you might have to look for them either used or through a specific retailer on on eBay or or around the world because I don't think these are in their current lineup or will be in production for very long. So. If you're looking to grab one that comes in this color, um, I believe a sunburst and kind of the vintage mocha, which is also transparent, but obviously a darker kind of like a better a poop color or a chocolate color. So I didn't really, didn't really want that. Uh, I wanted this kind of classic um, blonde with the black guard. So quite cool. Really pleased with it so far, but and I have to still tune it up, set it up and and kind of play it to, to figure out what this sounds like and if I'm going to keep it. But thanks for watching. Uh, please hit a like if you enjoyed the video and hopefully uh, this helped you kind of decide whether you want to, to buy one. Um, obviously just from visuals itself and kind of first impressions. Um, I mean, this by all means is no professional video, so I just do this, pay for this stuff with my own money. Um, just want to share it online. Thank you for watching.